today I'm going to be reviewing this. Um, the Hori Split Pad Pro Joy-Con, I guess I'll call them Joy-Cons, controller for the Nintendo Switch. I recently purchased these. Uh, my regular Nintendo Joy-Cons are too small for my hands. I don't really like them very much. So, I bought this one. It's a lot bigger. Um, I will say right now, more ergonomic. I, I love how this thing feels. But, um, I just thought I'd show you uh, some of the features because I really, really like this thing. It makes it a lot easier for playing handheld. But, getting ahead of myself, let me show you the features. So, we got our um, joysticks are a lot bigger, very nice, more responsive, more range of motion. Um, you got your L and R, Z, L, Z, R, whatever those are. Yeah. Um, you got your face buttons, all feel very good. Not clicky, not mushy, not, they're just very responsive. Plus, minus, um, yep. And then you got, um, home button, turbo buttons, and assign buttons. So, you'll notice on the back here, we have these. These are programmable, um, triggers. You can program these to any button on the controller. So, let's say I wanted to assign... Um, this one here to the A button, I would do this. Hold down assign and press A. You'll see the light shows up there. Now you hit, hit the back button there and you can see it presses the A button. Um, and then if you want to, uh, I guess I'll say deprogram that, uh, remove that from the unassign it, then you will hold the assign button and hit the back button again. So, assign A, that programs it, assign back, and that deprograms it. Same with the left button, let's say we wanted um, ZL for our back bumper. Um, hit, hold the assign, hit the back, the ZL button, and the lights, the light, the light is on, then we hit the back button and it works so and then likewise you just hold that hit the back button and there you go same it, it's kind of the same principle with the turbo button although I found it's a little bit different um you hold the turbo and hit whatever button you want to be your turbo so what the turbo does I should should have said this earlier the turbo um, makes it so that if you hold one of these buttons it's it, it, the, the console takes it like it's you're, you're hitting it over and over very quickly. So if you hold the turbo, hit the A button, you'll notice that when I hold the A, when I held it down, it was blinking real fast. So watch what happens when I hold the A button here. It blinks and he jumps over and over. Um, so that's what that does. Also, you can change the settings. So hold the turbo, hit the A again. Now you can see it's jumping. It's, it's hitting that button at rapid fire speed over and over again. Looks like I just went out of the ship. Um, but, so that's that feature. And then if you hit do, do this do these at the same time again, it turns it off. So you basically just toggle through by hitting the turbo and the A at the same time. And that's, that, that'll do it. Let's, let's try the other side just for good measure. Oh, that's not a very good button to use. See, there we go, he's dancing. Yeah. Oh, he's styling. Okay, and then we can do this. Oh, yeah. Whoa, nice. Hey, man, I wish I could do that. That's a great trick. Never, never, never done this before. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to remember this. But, um, anyway, I'll turn that off, because that's actually quite annoying. Oh. Alright, so we're doing this. Alright. So, that is the Hori Split Pad Pro. Oh, forgot to mention the D-pad. But, who cares about the D-pad? We're playing 3D games. I mean, oh no, I'm sorry to offend any of you. Um... 2D platformers. Sorry, that was that was that was for legal reasons. That was a joke. 
Um, don't want to offend anybody. So, that's my opinion. Um, I would say, if you like playing, um, playing your Switch handheld in handheld mode, this is a lot better than the regular Joy-Cons. Um, it's very comfortable to hold. But, um, the only thing is, you cannot, uh, play these in any mode other than handheld. Handheld is the only way for these, um, Joy-Cons. You can't connect them to that, um, grip thing, which there's really no need to, but, um... <clears throat> so there's that. Um, but I just think they're very nice for handheld mode. Um, there was one more thing. Oh, yeah. The, uh, assign and turbo buttons can only be... Or the assign button. Turbo is on either side. But the assign button on, I, on this side cannot be used to program anything from this side, so it, it, it makes sense, but that's just one thing to take note of, um, and vice versa. This side back button cannot be programmed to anything on this side. Actually, I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me just find out. Let's see. Nope. So, that, yeah, that doesn't work. So, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions... Uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.